Okay, guys, so as always, um, this section is going to be embargoed until the end, and then we'll move into a written section, and we'll start with Dan from Skype. Thank you, Laura. Hi, Brendan. Nice Hi, Dan. You. Okay. Um, just to start off with, I want to get your reaction on uh, Roman Abramovich's sanction uh, by the UK government yesterday. What, what were your thoughts on that, and kind of the impact it may have just on the people at the club? Well, that's my, my will be my sort of primary concern, really. I've got a lot of friends at, uh, at Chelsea, uh, good people, and obviously been there for a long time. So, um, so yeah, it's obviously a difficult situation that they're, they're having to manage. And, of course, you feel uh, for Thomas, the manager, and, and the players, because it's um, out of their control, their focus is on their football. Um, but it's obviously something that is in place and something that they're, they're having to manage at the moment. And you mentioned there the manager. Do you kind of feel some sympathy towards him, as you kind of mentioned there, to focus on the field, but there's a lot going on off it? Yeah, well, you can only imagine. Obviously, we are way outside it and nothing to do with it. And that's your first question that you've asked. So for Thomas, and he's probably getting peppered by loads of questions by it, when really his only focus is, is very much his, the football and improving the team and the players and, and looking to... Uh, to have a successful end to the season. So, yeah, I've total empathy for, for him and for the players, but they're, they're very professional and uh, they're, they're an outstanding team and, and I'm sure they'll focus on that element of it between now and the end of the season. Just in your experience, how do you kind of keep that outside noise out of the squad and your kind of players? You know, what would you say maybe the best techniques for that? Well, listen, Thomas has experienced enough to deal with that, I think that the reality of modern day football is that you're having to constantly keep all the noise and all the gossip and speculation and and everything else that surrounds the, the game these days uh, away from players. So, uh, so yeah, but it's it is a, a difficult one for them and, and for everything because it's a, the spotlight very much on them. But you can really only focus on the football. I mean, he's there. He's a top coach. So he'll he'll manage that, get the players, you know, working well on the training field, preparing for games, and uh, and then that's that relief when you get out onto the pitch and and do something that you love doing. So uh, so I think it'll, you know, as difficult as it is, you they'll just concentrate on the football. And just moving to the football, obviously, <coughs> when last night, how the squad looking in terms of team news? Yeah, it was very good when Forrest was playing against a good side. So. Uh, half time in the first leg so it's a you know, good scoreline good performance uh, yeah we've got players that will come back in uh, so we'll, we'll have another check on Ricardo Pereira um, James Justin obviously played last night at 60 minutes so we'll see how he is um, Papi's Mendy will come into the squad as well so um, so yeah um, all in all it's as strong as we can be and, and obviously players then hopefully look to come back Wesley Fofana um, well, well, obviously, very much a doubt, but um, but we will uh, hopefully have him back available next week. And just one more question about a manager, Mikel Arteta, head of Arsenal. Um, how impressed have you been by Arsenal in terms of their kind of progress this season, especially compared to the beginning of the seasons where they're at now? Yeah, but there's a huge expectation on on Arsenal, and I think that this season without the European football, it's given them a chance to. Reset, and uh, I think Mikel's done an excellent job. You know, they've got a, a group of very talented players, young players that are hungry, and with the the coaching time, and, and I say with more time, uh, respectfully, because sometimes uh, coaches and managers they may have too much time with players, but but he and his staff have clearly been able to put that to good use. You know, where they can concentrate on uh, on improving the players, improving the, the structure of the team. Uh, and you see, when they come into the games, they uh, they're a very dangerous team. So, so yeah, he's done an excellent job. They're in a really, really good position to finish in the Champions League. And uh, if they can avoid uh, injuries and and these types of things that uh, that can happen, then uh, with with the games in hand, they're going to be in a really, really strong position at the end of the season. Thank you. Pleasure. Go to Naz on Zoom, please, for the Hi, Brandon. You okay? Yes, good night. Thank you. Uh, 
Brendan, I want to start really with uh, a little bit on, on last night. I think with last night, it's four wins in a row, three successive clean sheets, a really good win against a very good side. It's a, a good run you're on at the moment, isn't it, after that sort of uh, sticky spell previously? I think that uh, the the Nottingham Forest game is. I think when you lose any game, but in particular a game like that, it was a it was a humbling experience for us, and it probably reiterated a lot of what we had been saying up until that point. However, the players we, we've come away as a as a group and reinforced uh, what you know our strengths are and what makes us uh, really competitive, and from that game. We've been able to analyse ourselves honestly and openly and and then been able to then put a, a game in place and an intensity and a mentality that allows us to to get the results. So, um, so yeah, the response of the players from that game has been outstanding. Um, but we've got to keep that going. And, and if we can do that while it's getting players back, then, as I say, it, uh, it hopefully bodes for a good end to the season for us. But now the players deserve a huge amount of credit. Because, uh, as I said, we had to come away from that performance in the FA Cup and uh, and really take stock and, and and take a close look at what we are all about. And thankfully, we're starting to return to uh, to what what we've been for for a few seasons, and now starting to um, get those results. And like I said, the basis of it all, I've always said, you know, is the is the work rate, and uh, and when you can work hard and consistently, then that normally ups the win ratio as well. So, um, so yeah, in a good moment, but still lots of improvements to make still. You talk about work rate and win ratio. It helps when you've got players like Mark Albrighton in your squad. I thought he was magnificent yesterday, and, and I think he has been magnificent for you during this time where you've had certain key personalities and key leaders out of the team. Uh, how do you assess what Mark's done in the I mean, the last few weeks, in the last few years at uh, at Leicester? Well, certainly my time here, he's been a huge inspiration for the other players. And sometimes you're not seeing it because he maybe is not playing as much. But um, but his attitude and energy around the, the team every single day and then any time that he's played uh, for all of the players, he's a huge inspiration. Um, so he's been able to come in like you said last night, made a great impact in the game, scored a wonderful goal, assisted the others. But it's also his level of concentration and, and work ethic that he puts into the team. And, and that's what being a successful team is. It's not just about having the best players playing. It's about the cohesion and the work and the mentality. And, and he typifies all of that. So um, the light it for him, I'm not surprised because I've now worked closely with him for, for over three years. And... Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a great guy for our squad. I want to say as well how much of a positive it is with the, the extension of Wesley's contract and what kind of statement that basically says to, uh, you know, the outside world about where, where Leicester are at because, you know, he's been a key player. For, he's been out injured. He's obviously hopefully coming back very, very soon. But the fact that you've tied him down for a good number of years going forward, that's got to be a huge boost, hasn't it? Yeah, he's a very talented boy. He... He's obviously come in as a young man who's not played so much and we paid an awful lot of money for him, relative, um, but we knew his talent and uh, he's come in and he's been outstanding. However, he still has lots of improvements to make. Just been really unfortunate, obviously, with the injury that he had, but um, but he's worked ever so hard to get back and now hopefully he'll be returning very soon and for us to... To, to to tie him down to that length of contract, of course, it's it's um, it's a great bonus for for the team and for the club, and uh, but also shows you how much he's enjoyed it here. I know you, you you don't like focusing on individuals, but last night again, I've got to pick out Harvey Barnes' performance because I thought he was again excellent, and he has been for you the, the, the last few games. I think he he terrorised their uh, their skipper, the fullback, uh, on, on occasions when he was uh, going down that uh, that wing. He was really really uh, uh, good, and and how how pleased are you with how Harvey's developing and what Harvey's showing you? Well, yeah, I think at the beginning of the season, he, it was more to do with his fitness where he could just quite get to the level that he had been at um, and, and didn't quite make the impact in the games that we would have liked because of that. 
but uh, but over these recent weeks, and uh, you can see his importance one to the team, and obviously the 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 top class player that he is, and how and how well he's been developing. You know, he's now on a regular basis, basis scoring goals, creating goals, but he's adding that work ethic, that mentality to pressing, uh, to winning the ball back, and these are all things. And and while still being a player that's still developing and I think there's still so much more to come from him um, but he's a joy when you see him in full flow he's very direct he wants to get at the opponent with him without the ball and what has improved is has been his final pass whether that's uh, to lay it off like for Mark so that vision and awareness to see it or his calmness in his finish so um, yeah no it's uh, it's great but he still knows we're, we're demanding more uh, but he also demands more for himself, and that's that, that's important that he has that hunger if he's going to continue and and develop even more as a top class player. I'll leave it there, Brendan. Best of luck for the weekend. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hey, Owen, you're up. Hi, Brendan. Hope you're okay. Hi, on. Um, uh, I know you mentioned Wes as a father. Uh, they maybe won't be involved this weekend. But how is his recovery from from COVID nineteen going? Because as you and other, other managers have said, this isn't just an, an illness. I suppose you you get over it, can stick around for a little while longer. So how's his recovery going? Yeah, well, I believe he's he's fine. Um, I think we've seen lots of cases like it where people maybe without even feeling that they had symptoms of of, of tested positive. So um but yeah he's uh he's a he seems fine. So uh we're hoping that he'll he'll get some physical well he is getting physical work in and then uh, we take it from there. When you say that he'll be available to play maybe in some game next week, is that the, the Bren away game or yeah. maybe Brentford Bren? Yeah well that would be yeah that that'd be the the first game that hopefully he would be available for, but but we just have to assess it over uh, between now and then. Obviously, it was uh, I know you were disappointed last week when you, when you spoke about the fact that he had picked up COVID and his return was going to be a little bit delayed. But how pleased have you been with the partnership of Daniel Amati and Charles Sancho over the last three games because they they put in some really good performances and, and three clean sheets in a row? Yeah, and probably the where's the coming back is probably. <laughs> help that as well that always helps and I always say it sometimes it's the best coach you can have is competition but I think the guys have been great and two centre halves you know the, the back four um, goalkeeper yeah been been excellent but uh, but like I said the, the defending starts from the front and collectively we've been defending much better and which has then meant that the you know the, the, the defenders um, you know the, not that the job has, has been a lot easier, but it means that the uh, the task before it gets to them is much harder for another team. So, um, but those two, yeah, they've defended very well. The box got the contact uh, in the box, being aggressive, and uh, very important for us keeping our line up. So, so they've worked well together, which is important, and maybe not something that we've seen as consistently earlier on in the season. But certainly, uh, they've been very good in this last phase. Is that another aspect of players returning from injury that will help to increase, like you said, the quality of the squad? Just that sheer competition that when there are more players available, there are more players to lose your place to? Yeah, but well, well, listen, it's one as well where all the players know with so many games that we're having, we get very little rest. So they're, you know, we're, we're, we have to go into games and you can't play the same team every single game. But it's also good as a manager to know that if you can have your players back and and fit and uh, and available, then um, that normally inspires the the guys that have been playing to play to the highest level. Um, so I always think it's important that the players are feel safe psychologically, but not too safe. You know, you've got to be pushed, and you and that normally brings out the best in uh, in the performance. On Arsenal this weekend, Brendan. I wonder what you made of the the 